Who sets policy for our jails? The duly elected sheriff? How about the ACLU? Ultimately, uh, we were sleeping people in day rooms in the chapel and hallways and so forth to keep them in jail longer. Uh, but the ACLU uh, filed its complaint, uh, asked that we not do that. Uh, we altered what we were doing. We had to crowd more people into the existing cells and dormitories. Uh, that caused a greater problem. Well, the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union, um, constantly tour the jail, uh, the jails, and the inmate reception center. And whenever there are issues or problems or concerns, we, we try to deal with them and work as a partner with them. Uh, sometimes uh, we're not always able to, you know, see eye to eye on different things. Um, Mary Tiedemann is the jails coordinator for the ACLU's my, Jails Project. My primary focus is to monitor the, the county jails. I oversee our volunteers who help me on the jails project, which usually about five to eight uh, students and professionals who volunteer at the ACLU. And we go to the jails at least twice a week for four or five hours to talk to inmates, follow up on complaints. Virtually anything that anybody tells them, um, you know, they, they kind of take a lot of stock in it. And, and we have to remember that, you know, not everybody's truthful. I think that there's always that con mis or that you know opinion that the inmates are lying, but uh, for the most part, that's I've, I feel like I've been able to kind of hone in, and I, I can I can kind of tell when someone's pulling my leg and when someone's telling the truth. As a result of the lawsuits filed, the LA jails are under court mandates. Uh, the inmate reception center is currently under a federal. Um, temporary restraining order to ensure that we get inmates through the process and into housing within a 24-hour period minus any medical issues that they may have. That sounds easy to do when you're dealing with 165,000 people a year who have a, a myriad of, of issues and problems and concerns just getting in through the system, it becomes insurmountable. When you Mark Rosenbaum is the legal director of the ACLU. He felt betrayed by the Sheriff's Department's response to the court directive. Um, the Sheriff's Department made representations that the overcrowding would be reduced to a significant degree. We trusted those representations. If they had difficulties, they should have told us what those difficulties were. And I, it, it, it broke a trust when it turned out that part of what was going on, part of the solution that the Sheriff's were were patting themselves on the back about was to just move the problem out of sight. That, that was wrong. We asked Mary if she thought the Sheriff's Department was trying to deceive the ACLU. Well, I mean, I don't think the inmate reception center was something that was outright hidden to me. Um, it just wasn't, no one ever called me up and said, hey, we're having a lot of guys stuck in here for, you know, days. Okay. Mr. Rosenbaum is highly critical of the whole system of incarceration in Los Angeles. The jail system functions as this county's largest shelter for the homeless. Nineteen percent of the inmates are homeless and are really there for no other reason than they're homeless. A huge percentage, maybe as many as 30 to 40 percent of the inmates, have serious mental health needs. This county, this state, isn't doing anything close to what needs to be done in terms of providing adequate mental health services. These people don't belong in jail. They belong in, in facilities where they can get the appropriate treatment. And, and if you want to look at the larger questions, you can make direct correlations between who's in this jail and the quality of education they've received, the quality of opportunities. All throughout the country, enlightened communities are saying the answer to our social problems isn't to build larger jails. It's to really look at a whole host of issues and talk about proper mental health conditions, talk about what we can do to reduce homelessness, talk about what we can do to improve our school systems. That's really what an enlightened community would be looking at. To hear how the L.A. Sheriff's Department is endeavoring to work in partnership and collaboration with the ACLU, see the full show now, only as a Full Disclosure subscriber.